What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with a what's in my tech bag video for summer 2018. I try to do these every year for you guys to show you what I'm bringing with me to events and stuff like that. And don't worry, I will have my uh, back to school tech video dropping in less than a week, so everyone asking about it, rest assured it's coming up very soon. Before this video, show you guys all the tech and all the things that I bring with me if I'm going to an event or I'm traveling somewhere. All the tech showcased in this Herschel Barlow Trail backpack. And the first thing I like about this, getting right into it, is that it's very compact, but it still carries a lot. Now, as I always do, I'll have everything listed in the description for you guys so you can check it out. This was, I want to say, like under 40 bucks or around that price point. Comes in a ton of different colors. And that's one reason why I really like Herschel's because all their things, whether it's wallets, backpacks, duffel bags, they come in so many different textures and colors that it's really great you can go through and pick them and see like what fits your style the best. So as it shows right here on the side, it is 18 and a half by 10 and a half by six inches. Those are the dimensions here. But even though it's a relatively smaller size, I still cram a lot into here. And just right off the bat, the first thing you can see is there's no real zipper here. What I like is it's like one of those like drawstring bags where you could tighten it and open it up. It makes it really easy and uh, definitely better with theft prevention. That way people don't, you know, just like unzip it while you're not paying attention. They have to go through two extra things now of undoing the string and then unclipping it as well. So first off in here, we're just gonna talk about the laptop and stuff like that. And the one that I have with me usually when I'm out going to events and stuff is gonna be my Razer Blade Stealth. Uh, this is, I wanna say the 13 inch model, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's 13. Um, this, I believe, can hold up to a 15 inch. I know my MacBook Pro does. But I really like the Razer Blade Stealth because since it is so small and compact, it really packs a punch for the size as well, which is a big plus. So when I'm out, I can edit videos on the go, do some casual gaming, uh, but for me, I love it. Gets everything I need to do done, and uh, I can have it nicely carried around on their razor sleeve as well. So it's a nice little bundle here. No complaints on my end. And then one of the things that I think is just really essential is having the Rav Power Power Station. I also showed this off in my tech bag video last year, and I think I even included this in a back to school video. But this thing is just a miracle when you're traveling. It is a lifesaver. So this is a battery bank pretty much that has over 20,000 milliamp hours. You got a USB, your Type-C for you know powering devices and charging those up. But the big thing for this, which is why I carry it in tandem with my laptop and stuff, is it has this AC output here. So you could pretty much charge your laptop with you. Say you're in the middle of an edit and your battery's getting low or it's dying, charge it up, it'll give you some extra juice, and that is just a huge, huge feature on a battery bank like this. It has this relatively compact cylindrical design as well, so it doesn't take up much space, fits in here, no problem. And having over 20,000 milliamp hours to charge phones, charge laptops, is just the reason why I carry this thing literally everywhere with me when I'm traveling. I believe it's around like $100 or something like that, which is kind of pricey, but again, for me, there was no second guessing when I picked that up. Now, one of the things you learn when you're doing an event like CES and stuff is you need to keep all your cables organized or else it's going to get all tangled up and just be a nightmare. And uh, one of the things that I picked up that I love is this little pro case. This essentially has all the tech that I'm going to need, especially when it comes to like little cables and dongles, and it keeps everything organized. But this just helps me so, so much. You have no idea. Since it folds up, you can just carry a ton of things in there and it's not gonna get like jumbled and messed around inside of it because there are tons of pockets. So you can keep everything organized within the organizer. Just to show you guys real quick some of the things I have because there's a lot of stuff in here. So we'll try to fly through it. Um, like in these little pockets, I keep my two hard drives. This is a one terabyte and this is a four terabyte. These are like around $100 now. So memory has become just so cheap that I'm constantly buying new um, external hard drives like this to bring with me on the go. So it's nice that they have their own little pocket here. I can just put those in. Also for things like battery banks, um, even though I have the bigger RAV power one, finding things that are extremely thin, but also are gonna pack a lot of milliamp hours is key. So this one is 10,000 milliamp hours and it's literally like the size of a phone. This is a wireless one, so I can just put it in my pocket and charge my iPhone 10 uh, wirelessly, which is pretty cool. So have those in the side pocket. This is gonna be for you like more cables, pens, a marker, uh, more dongles and stuff. But one of the big things that is also really great when traveling is having something like this uh, chiffon cable here it's uh pretty much got all your cables all your chargers and stuff attached to one thing so you can charge them up at once instead of having to carry around like five or six different cables micro usb mini usb lightning usb c all that stuff it's right here and i think this was like ten dollars this is essential when traveling, definitely. And uh, over here, this is a nice little pocket which is gonna contain things like an extra USB hub. 
And this pocket down here is what I use for, you know, little extra dongles, uh, you know, memory cards, tiny little flash drives so I don't lose them. That's why this is so essential is because, you know, it keeps everything organized, no tangles, nothing getting loose in the backpack. Extremely clutch. Well, this is gonna be fun to all put back together later. So I keep that here in the Barlow's uh, side pocket because it just fits right in. There's two side pockets. You can also carry around like a big water bottle or anything like that. And uh, just, you know, let's just reach in and grab stuff. We'll talk about it. Uh, okay, so obviously the Nintendo Switch, while you're traveling, especially like on an airplane and stuff, this is a must have. You guys know about it. Not gonna spend too much time on it. Um, I just have this case from uh, Moomba. It's a protective case. It's very rugged and it's like a soft rubber material around it. But at the same time, it does give it some extra heft, which is good. So. In case I drop it while I'm out, that's gonna, you know, help save it in the end. And while it's in the backpack and stuff like that, it's gonna prevent it from getting scratched. Got it here in the black and blue finish. I'm a big fan of the Switch. Definitely a, uh, an essential part when traveling. And still just showing you guys, you know, uh, if you are using this for, you know, books for school or anything like that, uh, like I said, I am gonna have that back to school tech video, but I'm always having notebooks with me. So I just have two in here. These are relatively bigger notebooks. This one is pretty much like a, uh, like a textbook. This is a smaller one. So I'm one of those guys. Yes, that's still gonna be using, you know, actual paper and pen. I find that a lot more efficient than writing down notes in my phone. Cause odds are I'll forget about it. So have these two in here nine times out of ten if i'm out i have notebooks and pens on me just so i could you know quickly jot stuff down ideas and these easily fit in here no problem along with everything else so while it is that's why i love this backpack so much while it's so much you know more compact you could still fit a lot in there and that's cool because at the same time it's kind of encouraging you to tr to carry less as you're traveling but it's going to have all the essentials then as we start to wrap this one up, I was talking more about the backpack itself because I know a lot of people were interested in this when I did my Prime Day unboxing. The back of it, as you can see here, um, has these like five pads, which are very soft and cushiony. They believe they're also like breathable and stuff like that. So it's not gonna get hot as it's against your back on a hot day. So having it being like breathable is a big plus. And the last two things are gonna be the extra storage you have on this backpack. Um, right up top here, you have a zipper. This is gonna be great for also throwing in quick things like maybe an external hard drive again or a battery bank. Then obviously little things like you know earbuds or whatever. If you have headphones that are tiny or foldable, you can put those in here. And I probably showed this duo off like five separate times on the channel, but my file earbuds along with the mighty Spotify player, this is probably the number one thing that I do have with me. 99% of the time when I'm out because it's just an awesome thing. So um, I'll put those down below if you want to check them out. But I talked about it at nauseum. So I just have those up in the uh, the top little zipper there. And actually on the bottom, you could possibly use this for storage, but they actually include an entire. Oh, okay. So it actually doesn't come undone. Um, as you can see, there's actually a little thing on the bottom that says zero rain delays, and it has this entire um, cover as well. So if it is raining and you have, you know, expensive tech in here, you don't want to get it potentially damaged. It comes with an entire waterproof rain cover that you can just wrap around your backpack. Then when you're done, fold it back up and, you know, just put it right back in the bottom here. And since it doesn't um, detach or anything, that's going to be cool if you don't want to possibly lose it. I don't know. All just extra great bonuses to a compact backpack under 40, 50 bucks. Then obviously if I'm at an event, you know, covering stuff, I'm gonna have a camera with me. Um, I would show that off in this, but I'm actually using the a7 III as the overhead right now. Just picked this camera up, I love it. And there was still, you know, room in here to fit some extra stuff. So it would fit in here, no problem. But guys, that'll wrap it up for my what's in my travel tech bag video for summer 2018. I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, I will have all the stuff that I use, all stuff that I bring with me listed in the description down below so you can check it out. And guys, if you like this video and you're psyched for my back to school tech video, give this video a giant thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.